Having worked with so many organizations and taking them on a one-year customer experience initiative, our goal has always been threefold. First, make them the employer of choice in their region. Second, the vendor of choice in their niche. And third, increase their profits. It's that simple. Not easy, of course. It differs for every single one of our clients, but the one common denominator for all of them is their customer experience council. In this video, I hope to convince you that if you're serious about changing your internal and external customer's experience, you need to establish your CX council immediately. You've probably heard me say before, the more engaged people are internally, the better the experience externally. Well, here's a great way to do both. The CX Council is the team responsible for providing ongoing leadership to improving customer experience. Remember, customer experience is not customer service. CX involves everyone in the organization. The council will be the hub of information and the guide to making sure a CX initiative is ongoing and sustainable. For the first year, they meet every two weeks and they're made up of 60% management and 40% frontline employees. This mix is vital to making sure there's input from all levels. It's also vital to make sure that there are representatives from most departments from maintenance to accounting. The council's main task is to tackle customer dissatisfiers, touch points where service breaks down in the organization. Then they assign one, maybe two council members to lead a process improvement team of cross-departmental managers who are not on the council. And they lead them in a project to improve that dissatisfier. I've seen some of these projects take one week to solve and others that have you know, literally taken years. Some examples I've seen include sentence starters, which ensures that everyone is talking the same talk at specific touch points. If you're a retail operation, it could be making sure that everyone is greeted the same way and that they're thanked when they leave. Another example is examining loyalty programs. And yet another I've seen involved internal awards and recognition. Let them get creative, but make sure the team leaders know that it's their responsibility to constantly report progress to the council and to the senior leadership team. As a matter of fact, it's a good idea to have a senior leader as a liaison on the council, not to guide, but to advise only. For more information on this, just reach out to me directly at jeff at thecxedge.com. That's jeff at thecxedge.com. Thanks for watching.